This is McFly Angler. starts now. For a hook, I like these Gamagatsu B10Ss in size 6, but you could use any longer shank streamer hook in a range of different sizes. Place the hook securely in your vise, and then start your thread right at the eye of the hook, and then come back 2-3 to three eye lengths and snip off the waist. Now wrap up and down those thread wraps to make a thread bump to lay the bead chain eyes on. Oh, and by the way, the thread I'm using today is Viva 6 Ot in olive. Now for the bead chain eyes. I like these large size black eyes from Hairline. Use wire cutters to cut off a two bead section. Then place the bead chain on top of the thread bump, right about in the middle of the bump, and then make X wraps and under wraps to attach the eyes on. Adjust the eyes to lay perpendicular to the hook shank like so. Then bring your thread back to the bend of the hook and then back up right behind the bead chain eyes. Now we need a rabbit strip to make the tail. We don't need the hide of the strip. Just cut off a small clump of fur about this big. Lay the butt ends of the fiber on top of the hook shank and make a couple tight wraps to secure them. As you can see, this tail will extend out about a third of a hook shank length. A short and stubby tail is what you're going for here. Now make open spiral wraps down the hook shank until you reach the bend of the hook, ensuring that all the materials lay on top of the hook shank and don't spin. Then bring your thread back up to right behind the bead chain eyes. For the body, we will need some chenille, and I really like this olive and yellow corrugated chenille for this fly. Cut off a strand about this long, which should tie three to four of these flies. Tie in the tip of the chenille and then wrap down to right at the start of the tail. And then bring your thread back up to right behind the dumbbell eyes. Start making touching wraps up the hook shank with the chenille, trying to keep the wraps as smooth as possible. Stop with a small space behind the bead chain eyes and then capture the chenille with your thread and trim off the waist. Make a few more tight wraps over the chenille butt end to smooth out that section and secure the chenille tighter. Now we need an olive soft hackle feather, and this Brahma pelt will work great. Choose one of the smaller feathers at the base of the pelt, and then prepare it for tie-in. To prepare the feather, strip off all the fuzzy fibers at the base of the feather. And then pinch the tip of the feather and stroke down the remaining fibers like so. Now trim off the tip, leaving a small tie-in spot. Lay that feather against the hook shank with the curve of the feather angling toward the hook shank. Then make a few tight wraps at the tie-in tag to secure the feather. And bring your thread up past the bead chain eyes and right behind the hook eye. Now wrap the feather around the hook while stroking back the fibers with each wrap, making a collar on the fly. Bring the feather stem up towards the hook eye, and then capture it with a few tight wraps. If done correctly, sometimes you can just snap off the feather stem, but it doesn't always work that way. So if not, just trim it off close and clean up that section with a few tight wraps. Now bring your thread back behind the bead chain eyes and wrap up on top of the hackle slightly to angle the feathers rearward. Now we need some dubbing. This rabbit fur dubbing from Hairline in the olive brown color will work great. And we will need a fair amount dubbed onto our thread. So pull out some and separate it in thinner clumps like so. Dub this onto your thread making a thin noodle. Start wrapping the noodle around the collar of the fly and back up slightly on top of the feather. And then start making X wraps over the bead chain eyes with it as well. Now you'll probably need to add a little bit more dubbing here, 
If so, no big deal. Just dub a little more onto your thread and continue building up the head with the dubbing noodle. And try to end with the bare thread right at the eye of the hook. And then make a few wraps there and whip finish your fly. Now use a stiff toothbrush or wire brush to brush out the dubbing head slightly. Last and final step is to cement the head of the fly to keep it more durable. And I like this ultra thin UV resin by Solarez. The paintbrush applicator makes this super easy. Just paint a little onto your whip finish and then cure it with your UV light. And there we have it, the fly is now finished. I hope you all enjoyed. As you all know, my videos are partially brought to you by Dooley's Fly Fishing and Risen Fly Fishing. Both shops sponsor my videos and have excellent prices on their products. Risen Fly manufactures their own fly rods, reels, and also sells their own hooks and other fly tying materials, all very high quality and excellent prices. Dooley's on the other hand sells all the name brand fly tying materials and also offers really good prices on them as well. Both shops are offering all of my subscribers a 15% discount on anything in their shops. So go to www.risenfly.com or www.dooliesflyfishing.com and type in McFly at checkout for an additional 15% off of anything you buy in their shops. Also, I wanted to let you all know I recently signed up for a Patreon account. For as little as a dollar a month, you can support my channel and also get some cool perks like joining my monthly live stream, early access to my videos, and even in some of the higher tiers, get a discount on my hand-tied flies and one-on-one -on -one help from me with all your fly tying and fishing questions. And I wanted to take this time to thank some of my newest Patreon supporters. Rob Olding, John Monier, David Wilson, and Ryan Sauce. And I'm sorry if I butchered any of your names. All of them have recently started supporting me. I cannot thank you all enough. And I also wanted to thank all my ongoing supporters, which are included in the list on the screen. Thank you all. If you want to sign up for my Patreon, please go to www.patreon.com forward slash angler. I will have a link in the description section of this video as well. I appreciate all of you as well who share my videos with your friends, are subscribed, and also hit those like buttons on my video. Please continue doing that to help me out in that way as well. I will see you guys on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.